Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with December favourites. I have loads of videos coming up in like the new year and then I will be doing a 2016 favourite so that's probably going to be not the first week of January so hold out, it's coming. But for now we're going to talk about December favourites and what I wore over the festive period. You're not really going to see typical traditional colours. I wore a lot of blue this month. I wore a lot of random stuff. We're going to start, as we always do, with the mainstream. And I'm staring at five OPIs. Let's just talk about them. The first one is what I'm wearing on my nails today. And this one is called Show Us Your Tips. Quite a lot of these are ones that I've recently hauled. There's not a lot of ones that I've been hoarding for months. There's, these are all quite recently spoken about. This is from the um, New Orleans collection. And... This is one of the three that I picked up from that line. Now, as you can see on my nails, it is a beautiful light blue, maybe a few drops of grey in there, with a strong silver shimmer. However, this took three coats to get opaque, and it, I'm not even sure if it was completely opaque on every nail in three coats. Um, I was very disappointed. I, I don't know, I just thought this was going to be so much more opaque than it was. Um, so yeah, I was a bit... Uh, I'd have been used by the three to four coats that it takes to get opaque but it is stunning and it is really nice for this time of year because it's quite like a, like a icy finish to it so this is three coats that you're going to see of Show Us Your Tips by OPI we might as well continue to talk about that same collection and this is Rich Girls and Poe Boys I forgot what it was called there, Rich Girls and Poe Boys this is absolutely stunning, I love this one so much it's a bright blue with a few drops of turquoi turquoise, I don't know what I'm talking about, a few drops of periwinkle in there. I think this is near enough a dupe for Zoya's Dory, so if you have both you probably don't need them. But this is just beautiful, I'm so happy that I've got this one and this is opaque in two. And I didn't experience any staining. Rich girls and po' boys. Finishing up the three that I picked from that collection was called Crawfishing for a Compliment, which is like quite a bright peachy colour. I actually found that this looked really nice on my skin tone. Out of all the colours in all the spectrums of uh, nail polish, peach and uh, peachy coral is the one that I have the least of. Um, I'm not drawn to it that much. I don't know if it's because my skin is quite pale, so I feel washing these, wearing these will wash me out. But I actually did really like this one, and for a pastel colour, it got completely opaque in two. So, thumbs up for the formula and the colour. So that's Crawl Fishing for a Compliment by OPI. I wore one of the OPI Infinite Shine. I didn't wear this as a long wearing manicure, I just wore this for a couple of days. And this is uh, You Don't Know Jacques. Now I wore this because I really wanted to test out the hype of it because everybody loves this colour. Like freaking loves this colour. And I kind of get the hype. It's really nice because it's not brown, it's not purple, it's not taupe, it's like really in the middle there. So it's a really wearable shade for like every age range, every job setting, it's really appropriate for a lot of people. Got completely opaque in two and I just found it to be a really flattering shade. Um, so yeah, overall good things. Two coats of You Don't Know Jacques by OPI in the Infinite Shine formula. Last open the eye for the month was obviously a Christmassy one and this is Christmas Gone Plaid um, and this is a green colour which came out in the Gwen Stefani collection a couple of years ago. I got this recently in TK Maxx, I stumbled upon it and it's just beautiful and I, I don't know, I really love it, it's really flattering, it's nice Christmassy green. Two coats to get opaque as well, Christmas Gone Played by OPI. I had one Zoya which is kind of like the opposite of the Christmas spectrum and this is Zoya's Dixie and this is in one of these cute little deluxe minis. This is a super bright, vibrant pinky red, kind of similar to China Glaze Sneakerhead, so again if you have Sneakerheads you might not need this one. It also came out in the One Coat Creams collection from the summer and it's not a one coater. So I think the Zoya overall normally it does really well but I think the thing that annoyed people the most with their summer collection is they claim them to be one coaters and they weren't. I think one of them I think I was kind of opaque. Um, but yeah this one is Zoya's Dixie it's a beauty, it's probably more appropriate for summer and spring, but I rocked it in the winter anyway. Two goats to get completely opaque. 
I have one Essie, another kind of Christmassy one. This is Good as Gold, and this is the same finish as No Place Like Chrome. So if you have that one, it's exactly the same finish. Very chrome, it's not 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 metallic, just very like yeah, chrome, almost like matte finishing. Um, and it's in this beautiful kind of antique gold. It's not too, not a yellow gold. Um, it's kind of right in the middle there, so it's a really nice colour um, and it got completely opaque in one coat, just like No Place Like Chrome, so really good things. One Coat of Good As Gold by Essie. I have two Colour Club and I don't talk a lot about Colour Club, I only own three and these are two out of the three that I own. The first one is called Sweet Mint and it's this beautiful green lending mint colour um, and it's just really beautiful and again another one kind of like crawfishing for a compliment you might think this will be a bit of a rubbishy formula because it is so light but I found it to be completely opaque in two and really easy to use so very very happy two coats of sweet mint by Colour Club the other Colour Club is Road Trip and I think that this is in the same collection as the other the third one that I own, because that one is called Route 66, so road trip kind of all goes together. This is a beautiful dark turquoise colour, absolutely stunning and really nice for, it's, yeah, kind of this time of year, it kind of just about works, um, if you like to go where it's with seasonal appropriate colours. Another one completely opaque in two, beautiful formula, and I really actually love the like new Colour Club bottles, I don't know why, I think the logo is really cool now. And I like the stark white caps. Overall, I quite like the packaging. So two coats of Road Trip by Colour Club. To an in-between brand, and this is A England, and this one is Katyusha. I always think I'm going to say that wrong. Let me show it to you guys. Can you read that? K-A-T-Y-U-S-A. Katyusha. Katyusha. There is that one. This is so weird and different. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's kind of like an oil slick finish because it's a bit multi-chrome as in you can see a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, a bit of green and then also kind of silvery and a bit holographic. It's a real chameleon and lots of different things thrown into one. I really, really liked it and like I say, it's just something unique and weird and you can't, I'm like even looking at it now thinking like I don't even know how to describe this really. Um, got completely opaque in two. Have a little look at the swatch photo and hopefully what I've said makes a bit more sense. One Wicked Polish, and this is Drunk in Public. Um, this, I haven't had for that long either, really. This is a white-based Crelly with tiny little micro dots of, like, neon rainbow. Um, the dots and the glitter are so small that it does re remove really nicely. and You don't have to worry about having, like, a dense glitter scrubby removal. Removed really nicely and got completely opaque in two to three. I did two, so I needed just some dots to fill in some bold spots. So I would say it kind of depends on your application. You could also just wear one of one coat of this over a white. So Wicked Polishes, Drunk in Public. And of course all indie sellers will be linked down below. I have one by The Polish Alcoholic and this one is Hulk. I bought these a long time ago, like a year ago, she came out with a six piece Marvel superheroes collection. I have one, I have Loki left to wear, and this was five out of six. So I'm, I'm going to try and wear Loki next month and then we'll have worn them all. Um, this is really beautiful. If you haven't tried Polish Alcoholic, she's a European brand um, and she also is a beautiful nail swatcher. And again, it, it'll be down there for you. Um, I just really, really love this. It was a deep, obviously, Hulk green, or maybe a little bit darker than the Hulk. And then in there, there is these tiny little flecks and flakes of green and black. So it's just this really interesting mix, and again, really nice for this time of year. I love a deep green around Christmas. So two coats of Hulk by Polish Alcoholic. Another lemming crossed off the list, this is Glam Polish's Lady's Choice. This is beautiful, I loved it on my nails even more than in the bottle. It's a bright turquoise with a, look at that, look at that pinky purple flash, that is so strong, it is that strong on your nails as it is in the bottle. Loved this so much and, and there's definitely a reason why it was on my lemming list. Two coats of Lady's Choice by Glam Polish. Wrapping up the polishes for December is going to be Princess Nail Lacquer's Mood Ring. Now this is really interesting because it's a really cool duochrome with glitter holographic in there as well. 
really interesting and I don't see a lot of like holo holographic duochrome and other things mix most people either do duochrome flakes or just duochrome but this is duochrome and hollow and this is really interesting and different got completely opaque in two coats and this is the third one that i've tried by princess now lucker um, i've been trying kind of like one of each finish so i've tried a cream i've tried a glitter i've tried this and i've also then got a crelly to try so again i will wear that one next month so you can get a full review of all the formula finishes so mood ring opaque in two i have two nail polish empties i have the rimmel finishing touch top coat this is my holy grail from the drugstore it's amazing if you can get it definitely it's just shiny and quick drying and it almost people always think that i'm wearing gel it kind of gives that kind of like gel squishy feeling to it love that um, and the other thing is something that is probably was finished a long time ago but i've really tried to keep it going and this is my first ever um like liquid latex nail barrier and this was the one by danglefoot in jedi mind trick which came out with their star wars a set they did all the way in January. I really like this one. I can't talk about much experience with other because this is my first one, but I love this one because it dried down clear but glittery or like a little bit of shimmer in it. So you could see where it was, but it wasn't hard to like paint over. It wasn't as if it dried like white, so then you have to try and paint over it. I just really love the that effect of it and I am on the market. So if you've got any from the UK liquid latex barriers or I might buy a vat of liquid latex myself, give me some comments down below so I know where I can pick another one up. So that was everything that I wore in December for my nail polish, non-nail polish nail favourite, I even forgot what I was saying myself there, it's going to be you guys, I'm absolutely honoured, I think I said this in my other video that's already gone up, but this year has been so great, thank you so much for being with me, and I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year, and you're going to be sticking around for 2017, I've got a lot of stuff planned, very exciting things, so thank you so much, I really appreciate all your support, as always please thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Bye.